everybody. What everybody did to you. The mama didn't do nothing to you. That lady go to work every day. She don't know what her son out here doing. That lady don't want no problem with you. That lady probably want to talk to you before you can stop going through it with her son. This little girl in her room playing her video game or in there doing TikToks and you shoot through the house looking for the brother or the cousin or the uncle or the daddy and you kill this little girl and all she wanted to do was TikTok and dance. She liked to dance. Her birthday was coming up. Christmas around the corner. Niggas don't use their head. That shit ain't real, niggas, bro. The f*** niggas. Niggas do shit like that and shoot up houses, bro. And I don't give a f*** how nobody take it, bro. If you done shot up a house before and you on here, bro, f*** you. I don't give a f***. Go get the nigga that did something to you. That shit real, bro. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Cause I swear to God on my life, bro. On God, bro. And I'm being dead serious. This shit got me about to cry, bro. On God. Nigga, a nigga fuck me, bro. I ain't finna shoot up your house. I don't give a fuck if I know where your mama stay at, bro. Your little sister in the yard, bro. That little girl, life, life is precious as fuck to her right now, bro. She don't got no bills or nothing right now. And then you gotta shoot up a whole yard with kids and that shit. They call themselves a real nigga or a stepper. You niggas ain't steppers. That shit don't be cool. That shit ain't stepping. Stepping is, you gotta understand what stepping is. You gonna step on, nigga, what's trying to step on you. You gonna step. You gonna tiptoe. That what stepping is. That what the fuck stepping is. You ain't stepping. You done shot out these people's house. What if that was your mama, your little sister? And I look at that shit, dog, and I pray, why you think I stay out of so much shit, dog? Because stay out of situation and avoid that shit, avoid that shit, bro. I don't give a damn, bro. It ain't about that shit, bro. You want to go far in life, bro. It's more out there than the streets, than the gun, than sitting at the trap all fucking day, sitting in the hood all day, bro. Come on, bro. That shit. No, you got You want a family, bro. You want somebody, a daughter, bro. You want to be there for your son. I ain't just talking to my cousin. I'm talking to everybody, bro. I'm just being real. If nobody, if, if your homeboys don't want to fuck with you because you ain't into the shit they into, them ain't your homeboys. Straight up. Straight All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another episode of the Mitchell Hour. Welcome back. It's our new thing. <laughs> I know we started off kind of crazy this episode, but it's a lot of shit to talk about. You know, what is a, what is a real nigga? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a real nigga going out shooting up kids and everything. So, we're going to discuss that today. Real niggas, real niggas. What's a real nigga? What's a real nigga? Man, I was about to spit some. I'm just kidding. <laughs> So, man, how's how's life, man? Everything good? Life is life, you know. I'm here, I'm breathing. I uh, can't right. really complain too much, I guess. Yeah. I could, but, you know. Yeah, what's, what's the point, right? Yeah. I mean, it could be content, but... Patreon, niggas. <laughs> yeah, we ain't added shit to the Patreon since the prom date from hell. Yeah, we got to reload that reboot, you know. Yeah. We rebranded yeah. Mitchell Hour. You yeah. got to do a couple of tweaks. Get back on that shit, man. All right. So the reason that I wanted to discuss this is uh, one of my earlier podca- uh, podcast guests sent me that the other day while I was at work. Mm-hmm. And he said, I think this would be good content. And he said, you know, well, what do you think about this? Mm-hmm. And I listened to it. And the guy made a lot of sense. Mm-hmm. But I feel like he kind of contradicted himself a little bit sometimes, too, because you could go and shoot up somebody's house looking for one person. Yeah. You're still killing a black person. Or you can, and then he said, well, no, I said, find that nigga that you want to do something to and get him. Mm hmm. I mean, no matter what way you look at it, it's it's still wrong shit. Mm-hmm. And it just made me think about the music that we listen to today, yeah, and the movies we watch. And I think the definition of a real nigga varies from person to person, right? Um, Very true. I think now. The general consensus when you ask around would be 
Boozy, uh, Gucci Mane, you know, people that have shot and killed people. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, but I don't really think that's necessarily what a real nigga is. What What are your thoughts? Like you say, it uh, depends on the person. It's subjective to who you are. Real can really mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people. So um, to like a street nigga, being real could be like just making sure that you hold it down for the streets. Or for a regular family nigga, being real is making sure your family's fed and you got, you know, a, a shelter for everybody. You hold it down. So it's like really just depends on who you are and the lifestyle you lead. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, I've talked to a lot of people, and you know, some people were in gangs, some people were working nine to five people, and I think, really, like you, like you and I said, it varies from person to person, right? But I think when a person says a real nigga, like I think. Everybody just automatically goes to somebody that's in the streets, somebody that's been to jail, somebody that's selling drugs and stuff like that. Yeah. And and why it's like that, can we blame TV and the music? It's definitely a huge influence. All the gang movies, all the TV shows and music, it uh, always uh, promotes keeping it real, being a real nigga, doing real shit. And now, you know. So, yeah, definitely uh, it's kind of like um, programmed into your mind. But how I, it's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. But I also think that, like, we should pay attention to because all these niggas that claim to be real and they talking shit, mm-hmm. they get locked up. It's, yo, nobody got my back, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, right. it just seems like. Being a real nigga is not all it's cracked up to be. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah, the people you think are being real are not being real at all. And you're following somebody that's not authentic. And, you know, you, you'll you see that once uh, things get tough. You'll see uh, what's real and what's not. And I think, like, social media has really just changed everything. Mm-hmm. I mean, you look at WAC 100, who is, quote, unquote, a real nigga, he's like a ghetto male version of Ricky Lake. You know what I'm saying? He's talking about everything. It's like he turned clubhouse. He's like, he owns that shit now. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like he's on there talking about everybody. Like he was in a car with Meg and, and Tori. Like he was in the car when Tupac got shot. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's it's a little crazy. And it's right. like, you look at Troy Ave's situation, mm-hmm. you know, he's like, I don't give a fuck. That nigga, I'm telling, I'm telling. You know, then you look at Casanova, he's in jail writing these long things on Instagram. And, mm-hmm. you know, it's like, look, Bobby Smyrna, right? Everybody, when when 6 9 was before he fell off, he was talking all that shit. And everybody was like, Bobby, a real one, he a real one. But, I mean, if you really think about it, I mean, Bobby's getting more slander for his dancing than Six Nine did for his snitching. Yeah, nigga. If uh, Schmurda is uh, the definition of real, I don't. I don't think I want to be real. But I'm saying, take out the dancing part for right now, right? He was doing what he did. He, he took extra time for his niggas, so they would not take extra time and all that. Uh huh. Everybody's like, he stood tall. He stood tall. Yeah. Boy, how the tables have turned. Like. He was the definition of real when everybody was talking about six nine going to prison and all that. Everybody's yeah. definition, like, look, look what Smurda did, look what Smurda did. Yeah, and it's like now he a real nigga, but now like all the slander. So it's like it doesn't matter if you a regular nine to five nigga or a quote unquote real nigga. It's like nobody is invincible. And no, everybody can get slandered. Hundred percent. That that that's true. Nobody is immune to getting that heat, man. It's it's like uh, you live long enough, become the villain. Like Hov says, like right. it doesn't matter. You can be doing everything the right way, but then people want to they want to hate you because you seem too perfect. You're doing everything right. 
they're gonna right. throw stones, man. Um, with Schmerda, yeah, I think the the stumbling thing he 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 got when he got out, he just kind of was quiet, and people was waiting for what he was gonna drop, and then he dropped something it was just suspect kind of stuff. He was dancing and twerking, the music wasn't really hot. It was like, and that shouldn't really uh, be a negative towards him. Like that, like you shouldn't. That shouldn't matter. The thing that should matter is what he did for his people and not really what he's doing now like in the music it should be about his character not about the content but kind of like kind of blends together because he's a rapper so you can't really separate the two because you know him as an artist and he comes out whack so then his 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 image is fucked up now just because of the how he's being out on stage doing all the dances he's doing and the music's trash so it's hard i it, mean I guess you would know more about it. I, I'm just assuming. Uh huh. But he had that that one, that one song. One song. What are you talking about? Back in the day. Yeah. Before he went. Yeah. To prison. It was all good. Like a, a week ago or some shit. Yeah. 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 I never heard any other music by him other than that song. Now. Yeah. yeah but, uh, Bobby bitch. You never heard that one? Nah. Now, this is my thing, right? I. It's like a little viral little meme video joint that was out of him going up in all them uh ex- in the office in front of them oh, execs yeah, yeah dancing on the table and all that shit right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i mean then the little bobby smurder dance was What's the difference between that and what he's doing now? That that dance mm-hmm. with your pants under yeah. your your ass cheeks and you're yeah. doing that shit. Yeah. That was right. kind of suspect right. as well. Right. Right. So it's like right. he a real nigga. Mm-hmm. He held he held it down for his homies or whatever. He goes to jail and he gets out. If he makes a song about the street life and selling drugs and whatever, then we respect him. He a real nigga. He came out doing his shit, right? Mm-hmm. But then if he talks about some shit and he goes back to prison, mm-hmm. how, how was that a good thing? So it's like he's out, he's enjoying life, he's fucking with white bitches, he's doing what the fuck he do, and he's being slandered for, for talking to white girls and dancing. Like... Like, I really don't get it. Like he was locked up for however long he was locked up. Right. That's he, what I want to know. How long was he locked up? See, that I don't. I don't remember. I think it might have been like eight years or some shit. Right. So it's just like you're locked up. You're That's around time. a whole bunch of niggas, right? Yeah. So so you get out. You're enjoying life. It's like yeah. with our culture, it's like we only celebrate death. We 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 celebrate just like fucked up shit. So now that the nigga's been around men for however long he's been locked up, and now he's out dancing and just enjoying life, chilling. Now he's not a real nigga anymore because of that. I wouldn't. I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't say that personally, but I would say that he makes it hard to stand with when he's doing sus suspect stuff on stage like he does. I mean, he looks crazy out there. He looks crazy. Have you seen what he be doing on stage? I, I mean, I saw a video that uh, Hassan Campbell posted, but it really wasn't confirmed that it was Bobby Smyrna. Oh, I don't know what that is, but I've definitely like he seen was it. like he was an all white, like grinding the floor, like twerking or some shit. I don't. Whatever I seen, it was definitely him. It was like a concert. It was his concert. It was him. Okay. And, what uh, was he doing? Doing what he does. His little twerk shit on the floor on the stage. You just it looked crazy. I never really seen dudes do that. It's cool. Like, I got it. Eight years ago, uh-huh. things are different. You're younger. Right. Niggas grow up. Right. Maybe the niggas that fucked with that shit back then grew up and don't want to see you fucking humping ground and shit. Okay. Now, I know people are not going to agree with me for saying this, but I don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. But it's like, so we respect the nigga when he's talking about killing people and selling drugs, but a nigga can't twerk. Like, if if he's if if but I'm just saying like if he's gay, he's gay. Whatever I don't give a fuck. That's mm-hmm. it. But my point is, so if a nigga that people was celebrating eight years ago comes out 
Gangsta. When I say comes out, I'm not talking about comes out as gay. I'm just talking about comes out of prison. Yeah. And he's dancing. That's gay. We don't ride for that type of shit. It's not dancing. It's the way he's dancing that makes it look really suspicious. Uh-huh. It's not like he's just doing, uh, rocking back and forth. He's dry humping, air humping the, the stage and he looks crazy. He looks- but, okay, but how is that sus though? Like you're dry humping. Is he right. like, is, is his mannerisms like he's dry humping a man on stage? I think you need to see some footage. I think you need to see some no, video No, footage. I've seen it. I've seen okay. it. Now that so you're talking, talking about, about, but I'm just, okay, like dry humping. It's not like okay. You see Jay Z dry humping the stage. You're not gonna be like, what the fuck is wrong with Hove? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Hove and Bobby Smurda is different shit. Like Hove came out on some gangster shit, whatever. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. now, right? Bobby Smurda came out his shit. first big smash. He was hot nigga throwing with his. Throwing his hands up, doing some type of dance in the fucking video. But a hot nigga, that's what the that fuck gangsta. he does. A hot nigga song was a gangsta ass song. It's called Hot Nigga. It was gangster. Uh huh. It was about murdering niggas. Right. See, now that's my point. So when he's talking about murdering niggas and got his ass cheeks out with his pants right under his ass cheeks and talking about murdering niggas, uh-huh. it's cool. I'm telling you that that probably was more accepted eight years ago to his fan base, not him coming out of prison. Like uh-huh. when you, it's a different perception. Like you, you doing that. You're not. You didn't go to jail, but then you come out of jail and you start humping around. It's like, man, what the fuck happened to you in jail? Did Adam BC get to you or some shit? What's going on? Maybe he's been in jail and he came out of jail, and he's in, all he's been doing was was fucking bitches since he got out, and that's all he's thinking about is fucking bitches. Been around. I don't know how long he was locked up, but if we say eight years, let's just say eight years, right, and yeah, he good. gets out of prison. Uh-huh. And he's like, yo, I need some ass. <laughs> and women ass. Okay, Let me, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, he yeah, needs yeah, yeah. women ass. Oh, okay. And he's just out like dry humping. Like, yo, this is what I got into last night. I had a couple of bitches at the crib. This is what I was doing. Like, I, and that's what I'm saying. Like, our culture is so fucked up. They want a nigga to get out of jail, get out of prison, and talking about, the shit that he did while he was in prison, like stabbing niggas up, shanking niggas up, and talking about shit that's going to get him sent back to prison. But a nigga that comes out dancing, dry humping or whatever. Now, my thing is, if it was, if he was dry humping and he had like his boys on stage and yes. they all got their shorts, shirts off and they're dry humping each other. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. That's, 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 that's sus. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Is. It's like, I, I just, I really don't understand. I see. Why we are looking at him like, yo, he can't have fun. He can't. Nobody did that time but him. He can have fun. It's just the way it looks. It looks funny, man. I hate being in this position. It's fine. It looks funny. Uh I don't give a fuck, personally. But I'll be be on this side of the the, the argument. Okay. And and say, yeah, this nigga needs to relax with that fucking shit on stage. Because that shit does not look right. It looks crazy. It looks crazy. I'm, I, I can understand. I can understand why real niggas would be like, "What the fuck are you doing? Why are you doing that? Right? There's no bitches around you, nigga. Uh-huh. Why are you doing that? Right? If there was some females around you, I'm sorry, females. If there's some females around you, uh-huh. yeah, dance like that. Dance on them like that. But he's not even dancing on no girls. It's just dudes behind him, and he humping around. Is is he humping his niggas? You not no man. I would. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like that's why I don't understand why everybody. There's tripping. no girls around him. It's just right. dudes around him. And he's humping around with dudes around him. If there's a dude all around you, humping okay, around. Okay, now what? let me ask you a question. Why are you humping? Was he? He was on stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was there only niggas in the audience? I don't know. Probably not. I'm gonna say no. Okay, I don't I know. Mean, that. That's that's what I'm saying. It's like <laughs> unless all niggas came to there, and it's like that's that's what I'm saying. But now, he's around niggas though. Like okay, there's no girls look. near in his in his proximity. There's no. In arm's reach, it's right. just niggas. Right, I feel you. With their asses out, sagging pants, you see everything. All, all, right. all you see is skinny jeans and uh-huh. asses out. Dudes. You don't see no females. Right. And he's right. pumping all around these niggas. That shit looks weird. If there's girls around him, wouldn't look so weird. It's the optics, man. It looks crazy. No, okay, okay. I- I'll give you that. All right. right. But my, I guess my, my whole point is, <laughs> if the nigga got out of jail... He wasn't dry humping the air on stage with his niggas behind him. Mm-hmm. And he was talking about shit to get him back in jail. 
You don't have to. Okay, cool. hold on. Just let me finish. Okay, gotcha. He he was talking about shit to get him back in jail. Mm-hmm. Back in like, yeah, I sell drugs. I did this. I got locked up. My niggas this and blah blah blah. He goes back to prison. Then everybody's like, oh yeah, he a real nigga. He a real right. nigga. I'm so sorry. now that he's out, fuck fuck all the dancing. No, what, like, what what is he supposed to do? He don't have to. He doesn't have. It doesn't have to be. This or that. It could be middle ground. He doesn't have to rap about murdering niggas or humping. But he has to. He can just talk about, maybe he can talk about his experience and what he learned and growth. Like, where there's no growth in this nigga either. Where's right. the growth? There's right. nothing. Just, well, I mean, I heard shit. that prison kind of like stunts your growth. It like it makes you like just fucked up, and you want to be the, pretty know. much the same person. Gucci that came out had. pretty way better. Gucci well, came yeah, out. Gucci was was on some other shit like. Gucci was like fucked up on drugs real bad before he went to prison. So he did like a complete mental and physical detox. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I think T.I. came out better too. I think Shine came out not rapping, but he oh came God, out a better person. Yeah. Sh- Shine was one in a million. Like, no, that's just never going to happen again. <laughs> well, Loon. Mm. Didn't Loon go to prison? He did. And he came out like he's he's Jewish now or some shit. Yeah, but I don't know if he's doing. Well. <laughs> I don't know if he's doing well. I, don't, I think we need to take a quick break. I want to play something real quick so you can look at this and then we can come back and talk all right, about this. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> it's gonna come up in like a couple of seconds, and you tell me you watching this nigga doing these moves on on stage. You be like, mm, what the fuck is this nigga doing? Come on, man. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. But that is not just having fun, nigga. No, yes, that's that is the way he looked back at his own ass. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. And uh, yes, okay. I've seen that video. But this is my point, right? Yeah. <laughs> now the niggas that's talking shit, right? Now he was on Adam Twenty Two podcast, No Jumper, right? Mm-hmm. And Bobby Smurda was smoking a blunt and he said, yo, if y'all niggas think I'm not gangster, y'all like don't fuck with my dancing, come fuck with me then. Come see, come approach me and tell me to my face that I'm not gangster, right? So Yeah. Damn, I can't get that thought that 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 uh, <laughs> video on my head now. <laughs> yeah, that shit's crazy, right? But you know go ahead. You know young thug, man. It's funny because he's way more flamboyant than him. But he's, yeah, that nigga was wearing dresses yeah, and skirts on his cover of his album. He and said, "I shop in the women's <laughs> department because they fit me better." But for some reason, he's looked at more gangster than Smurda. I look at I, I look at Smurda more suspect than you know why than Thug. You know why? Because it's a mental thing. Because we, now we know that Young Thug wears dresses. He refers to guns as dicks. Yeah. It took a long time for me. I was like, I, I, for the longest time, I was like, this nigga is crazy. But look, but look though, right? Uh-huh. But we are taking that as just a gimmick. Yeah. Because he got 15 baby mamas and right. he's never been to prison. Yeah. Now, that's true. Bobby Smurda, a little nigga, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, went to prison mm-hmm. and now he come back and everybody think that this nigga got. This nigga got turned out in prison. Mm. Now, <clears throat> that's what I don't understand. It's just like the nigga. Damn, that video is crazy. Mm-hmm. But okay, he's twerking and shit, right? Mm. So he twerks. He does what he does. Somebody approaches him. He beats the fuck out the nigga, mm-hmm. or shoots him. Goes back to prison. Mm-hmm. Is he back to being a real nigga again? See, I don't like. I'm, I'm not. I'm not the spokesman of real and fake. Well, no, I know, but but what you're saying is the general consensus on the internet right now that nigga's on some flamboyant homosexual shit. Yeah, but he was a real nigga while he was in prison. And then even WAC 100 said because somebody pressed him on Clubhouse, they was like, "Yo, like that nigga's a shooter, bro." Like WAC 100 said, "I'm not saying that he's not a shooter." Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that he's not gangster. What I'm saying is 
his dancing, all this shit, his twerking. He need to do a dance battle with Meg The Stallion. I'm not saying that he's not gangster. And I'm just like, so it just seems to me in hip hop, even if you're not that way, you have to, if you're you're not gangster, you have to act a certain way. So you have to keep up a facade for people. And I just watched this video that um, Pete Rock posted. Okay. It was two guys. One guy, I think one guy had a gun Mm -hmm. and one guy had like a whole bunch of money. Mm -hmm. Like, and they took a picture and a video, they posted it. Right? Mm -hmm. 30 minutes, well, I'm not going to say 30 minutes, but a little while after, he was still in the same place. Some niggas ran up on him and drug him and was taking his money and the nigga that was in the video with the gun and like he was talking shit, he's a gangster. He was saying, call the cops, bro. Oh, call the cops. So this is my thing, right? I seen that video. He's not he's not twerking. I seen that video. He's not twerking. He's not bouncing his ass on stage with his homies. Yeah. But he got manhandled by shit. Now, yeah. this is my thing. I don't know nothing about that nigga. Right. So this nigga wasn't twerking on stage or nothing, but he got manhandled, got his money taken, and was screaming, call the cops. Bobby Smarter, everybody's smashing on that nigga on the internet, but I really don't think that Bobby Smarter could be pulled and robbed in New York City, where he, wherever he's at. I don't think that would happen. So it was like, that's my point of having facades, and you got to have this, like, I'm, man, I'm this, I'm that. Like, I really don't think, like, what was it? Uh, Cat Williams said, "Nigga, you gang banging at breakfast? Like, I don't think that these niggas are hard all the fucking time." And yeah. it's just like Tyler, the creator, when he first came out. Well, not when he first came out, but like when he had Yonkers and shit, and nobody really like we loved that song, right? But then he started <laughs> fucking with Jaden Smith and everything, and acting like he was gay, and it's like it's so accepted now. Frank Ocean. Like everybody loves that nigga, but it's like that nigga. Uh, I mean, Tyler, he definitely is like bisexual, right? At, at, at minimum, but everybody right? loves that nigga, though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's like that's what I'm saying. It's like it's like we're so like um, double minded that you you can be a real nigga. I think you got to embrace your gayness. If you gay, you gotta be gay. You can't be. <laughs> Pretending you're, you can't be pretending you're not gay and act gay. That was the thing with Thug. Like he was acting gay at first. He was acting gay and he wasn't saying he was gay, or it seemed like he was gay, but he was being a gangster. And he was the whole thing was weird because he was trying to be Lil Wayne at first, the uh-huh. barter and all that shit. And it's uh-huh. like Birdman was trying to turn him into Lil Wayne's like new successor and all that. So. It, and he and it was Birdman, you know how Birdman is. Right. So he might have been. But that's what I'm saying. It's like when the Nene came out, when men were doing the Nene, that shit looked suspect as fuck. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, Bobby Smurda. We have no proof that he's ever been with a man. No proof at all. Yes, that video was was shattering for me. It was very difficult to look at this nigga twerking and looking back at his own ass. <laughs> but <laughs> but this is my thing though, right? Mm-hmm. It's like. Young Thug was wearing dresses, says he shops at a women's department, and referring to guns as dicks. But he a real nigga. He gangster as fuck. Bobby Smurder, we have never seen that nigga with a man. We have never seen that nigga with any fucking uh, women clothes on. But everybody's referring to young thug as a real nigga and niggas is scared of thug well i'm like i just it, i just don't understand that but, like it's like it just doesn't make any sense no, it, it kind of does because young thug it took time for that 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 that, that uh image to be changed it wasn't like immediate like niggas uh-huh. thought he was gay for a long long time like shredder he maybe out over some time uh-huh. he does a few different things uh a couple albums some songs some appearances uh-huh. that kind of clean it up uh-huh. Maybe he, maybe it'll change for him too. But the same thing with Thug. Like it took a while to, for that shit to turn around. A couple of classic songs, some features, some just some 
some shit that makes it seem like okay, this nigga can't be gay. He got all these baby mamas. Well, this and all he, that, blah, blah, blah. that means that the the hip hop community moved the goalposts. Did I don't know about moving goalposts. It's just the evidence. What we see, all we can do is process what we see. And what I see is limited. So the limited things I've seen of Shmurda has been him humping all the time. So it just seems like the hip hop and this whole real nigga, what's not a real nigga, what is a real nigga shit is just a gimmick then. Because Young Thug, as far as I know, he's never been to jail. I mean, well, never been to prison. Yeah. None of that shit. So he can wear dresses and all that shit. Mm Mm-hmm. And even when he was wearing dresses and saying he was shopping at in the women's department, he was still selling millions of records. You know what I'm saying? He was making – also, for Thug, he uh-huh. actually can make good songs. Shimmerda can't make shit. Thug has, lots of, Thug has a lot of songs, and he, he actually is a good artist. He's proven himself that he's in the game. He's not going nowhere. I thought maybe he's some flash trying to be a little Wayne because Wayne is not fucking with Birdman, so Birdman needs a Wayne voice type of I'm I'm just here for now but uh-huh. no he he submitted himself I'm in the game he's respected it's different but Shmurda what the fuck has he done okay you name one song I think we've been we, we've been talking about Bobby Shmurda yeah, we, yeah, we for about him. 30 minutes yeah we focus right. on him all the time so let's I guess that's the the, the shit over the internet right now let's <laughs> let's let's transition to the baby Tory Lanez uh Whatever. Okay. So, Gucci Mane, whatever. Yeah. So, <clears throat> casting over. So, I mean, how, what do you feel about this? Like, it's like a real nigga. You got to kill somebody and go to jail. I was reading Gucci Mane's book, and he said uh, when he first met Ricky Rose. He ain't fuck with him like that. Mm-hmm. He said because he was like, yo, you one of the niggas that I know that actually killed somebody and got away with it. So it was like, it, the definition of a real nigga is street shit, killing niggas, selling drugs or whatever. So it was like, Gucci Mane, <laughs> Isn't that detrimental to the culture? I guess people look at, well, yeah, Bobby Smurda twerking and looking back at his own ass like he's make the style with a tongue out. Mm-hmm. Like that can be detrimental. Definitely. But what's more yeah. but what's more detrimental though? Like killing niggas, selling drugs to your own people, or dancing on the stage looking back at your own ass. It's weird. I though. don't really think that dancing is detrimental to anything. It's, but yeah. killing Actually killing a person? It's the way you say it, though, man. You make it seem so like he's just dancing, like he's just snapping his fingers, nigga. He's humping, looking back at his ass dancing. It's not right. the same dance. Right. Like, it's oh, it's weird dancing. It's not just he's dancing. Right. Okay, let me ask you a question. And I, I want to, you know, I know this ain't got, this is the way my brain works, right? Mm-hmm. So you got, let's say Bobby Smurda <clears throat> never went to jail, never went to prison or whatever, Right. Right. And then you got Gucci Mane, right? So mm-hmm. let's just say Judgment Day. Okay. Right? God's talking to both of them. All right. And he says, hey, you killed somebody. Yes, it was in self-defense, but you killed somebody. hmm Bobby... You were dancing. Some of your dance moves were a little suspect, but you didn't kill anybody. What person's knowing religion, Christianity, do whatever, what person is going to make it to heaven? Have dancing well, if, uh, ever hurt anybody? If uh, um, the murderer uh-huh. prayed to the Lord for forgiveness... <laughs> He should be good too. Okay, let me ask you a question. Do you think that Gucci Mane prays? I think he might. I, I don't I don't think he, he prays. might, man. I mean he might. But okay, we're we're making a joke out of this shit. But my point is two things. Did murder did Schmurder not murder nobody? His name is Schmurder. You sure? Schmurder is the I mean 
Now, I know I'm contradicting myself, but Smurda is feminine. Smurda is is kind of weird as fuck for <laughs> real. You know what I'm saying? It's like Bobby Murder. Okay, Bobby Murder, that's fine. Bobby Smurder. Somebody it's, named himself Bobby Smurder and coming out twerking and everybody's all surprised. It's it's more of a marketable name. It's hard to market when niggas call themselves murder. It's murder. It's that nigga to, sold millions of fucking records. I know his name was Ja Rule. Nigga, yeah, but all he did in every fucking song was like, it's murder. Okay. Songs with J Lo. Yeah. It's murder. Exactly. But that's different, nigga. And, he, and Ja Rule is a fucking singer. And he makes great melodies and he has great opinions about George Bush and shit like that. So pretty much. A real nigga is whatever you want it to be. You can't be named murder, man. You can kill That's people. You can do whatever. You can wear dresses, refer to gun clips as, as dicks and everything. And it's, and it's fine. Clips as dicks. It's, it's, it's fine. But if you dance... That's where gangsters draw. Stop the line. saying it like that. That's what you keep doing. You keep minimalizing the dance. I mean, but nigga, hold He's on. He's twerking. Nigga, don't say, hold on, don't hold say on. dance. He's but twerking. Let me ask you a question. He's twerking. Is twerking dancing? But it's a specific dance. Hold on. Let's be clear. Hold on. He's not dancing. But nigga, it's twerking. <laughs> he's not dancing, doing it though. two steps. He's not, da- <laughs> he's not stepping in the name of love, nigga. He's, he's twerking it in the name of niggas. Femininity. <laughs> Twerk in the name of prison. You know what, though? In the ending, you know, uh, it's going to be a short podcast today. But, you know, I, I'm just saying hip hop kind of moved the goalpost a little bit. I, I guess. I mean, no, I, I just feel that's the way it is because even you said it took a little bit of time. Well, it took a, while, a little while for a Young Thug to clean his shit up and his yeah, image. Yeah, yeah. Nigga. What? He was wearing dresses. Okay. So okay. that was like 2016. Hold on, it's hold been on. Like See, five this, years. this is this is where I'm confused. Like five years. Talking to your ass right now, bro. Okay. Now go ahead. You're saying Bobby Smurda twerking and looking back at his ass while he's twerking is totally just where you draw the line. But well, mm-hmm. not you. Mm-hmm. But Young Thug was wearing fucking dresses, nigga. Mm-hmm. And the world was like, he's wearing dresses. He's talking about men's genitalia. <laughs> that is 100% fine because we know he's gangster. Nigga, you're like fast forwarding the timeline. It's not the way the world nigga, works. I don't nigga give a fuck. Niggas, what I'm talking about niggas, is what the no, nigga was doing. No, no. Niggas <laughs> was tripping off that dress shit for a while, man. It wasn't like, oh, this is okay. No, nigga was like, what the fuck is nigga doing with a dress on? Nigga, nigga. He was still selling records and doing what the fuck he was doing with that. Okay, though. but it wasn't just like accept it. Uh, okay, Again, what I what made, I remember, he made hits, nigga. That's, and that's what matters the most, as you as we know. Sometimes the hits just overlook everything else. You can pee on people, you can murder people, <laughs> as long as you make good music. Old women captives, yeah, give people pills and the shit. <laughs> as long as you make hits, <laughs> nigga. But I'm just saying that is a little crazy to me because I always thought. Now I have a gay cousin. Shout out to my nigga Derek. But mm-hmm. I always thought being gay. Was having sex with the same sex as you. I didn't know that like gay was like dancing or gay whatever. Tendencies. Gay tendencies. You remember? You know? You know? Well, yeah. I mean, gay tendencies. tendencies. Yes. And now, one thing I will say, and I, I've been shooting Bobby Bell this, a lot. This, this this whole shit. But my thing is this: a lot of Bell. I have. Matter of fact, my gay cousin is from New York. Okay. Straight up New York nigga, right? Right. He's gay, but if you try to come at him the wrong way, he will fuck you up. Okay. Right? And I saw God, I saw a lot of that in 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 that little interview with that that Bobby did with uh but with no jumper, Adam 22. Mm-hmm. But I guess my thing is is it's acceptable for some people. But not the other. It's just like, I don't know. I mean, you could sit here and say that that um, Boozy was off of mushrooms. Did you see that video? Which one? <laughs> he said he was off of shrooms. Oh, no. no. Yeah. He Now, we're sitting here talking about Bobby twerking and all that shit. Boozy was on some different shit. Uh-huh. He's sitting there talking about, what's that nigga's name? The, the one dude that he hates real bad? Uh, Lil Nas X. Oh yeah, yeah. 
Nigga, Bert Boozy was in the car, like, doing some really feminine, like, grinding and humping the air and all that shit. I'm glad you brought up Lil Nas X, though. What what happened with him? He's he's part of this whole conversation. <sighs> but he's not gangster, though. He's He's not a... Well, some people would consider him a real nigga for living in his truth. Mm-hmm. But I'm not going to lie to you. Like... The little EPs and shit that he put out is pretty decent. I listened to his music. I mean, not recently, but that first joint when he, after Old Town Road, he came out with some shit was pretty decent. Like Panini. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I fuck with the shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I don't know who it was, but somebody changed my perception, like just the way I look at music and shit. Like that that video that I sent you when you was, uh, before you came here, like, the the little trappy shit is kind of catchy now. I kind of I kind of fuck with some of that shit. Um, but still, I think that we in the culture move the goalposts for for certain things as far as like you can wear dresses, but twerking is where we draw the line. You can <laughs> make songs and say some super suspect shit. But dancing is where we draw the line. Now I know you're saying that I'm, I'm uh not really talking about what he's doing as far as the dancing. You saw him looking back yes. at it. Look yes. back at I it. I saw he was looking like he looked like a <laughs> like a male version of Meg The Stallion and uh-huh. Cardi B. But and you would listen to Hov as he's looking back at it, rapping about. <laughs> but nigga, but this is my thing though. Like I just don't understand like. You saying I'm fast forwarding oh. and all that shit? Like a nigga was wearing dresses, talking about dicks. That gimmick worked for him. It like did. he was still selling records. So Bobby Smarter, a real nigga, because he didn't tell on his homies and took more time. So his homies wouldn't get more time. And Bobby Smarter, I've seen videos of well, uh, well, videos and pictures of him like just around a whole bunch of fucking women, and he's twerking and and dancing and looking back at his ass, and we're like, "Yo, this nigga's gay." Yeah, I, but it doesn't mean I he's not I real. I don't see it though. Like it, I, it's not doesn't mean he's real. It just means that he's doing some suspect shit. All right. I'm not gonna say he's not being real. He, I think he might be because he's real comfortable in his skin, obviously. So I think he is being real. I just think that what he's doing is a uh, suspect, right? Well, I, I can't disagree with you because, yeah, that that video was pretty crazy. Uh huh. But at the same time, I guess I'm just a person that just looked at. I saw this matter of fact, I saw this video of um this motherfucker that was considered a, a the shooter. Mm-hmm. Uh he grew up in a in a bad neighborhood and he would just go up and just peel your cat back, just walk up to you in broad daylight, just shoot you right in the, in your face, look at you in your eyes and just blow your fucking head off. Damn. So he goes to prison and he comes out of prison. And this nigga walking around with skirts, thigh high mm-hmm. boots, and everything, mm-hmm. and it's just like, but it's a part of that community. When I saw the video, that was like, yo, they, it was a video, and they was talking to him, and mm-hmm. it was like, yo, I, I'll still fuck you up. Like this is who I am now, but yeah. I will still don't don't fuck with me. Okay, so it's just like, damn. So when a person embraces their truth and who they are. It's fucked up, but we can talk all the shit on the internet or whatever, and it's, it's it's fine. But a lot of these people that are talking shit on the internet would never go to these people's faces and say anything about it. True shit. And I just, I, I don't know, man. I, I just don't understand how everybody is. Like, how is, how a nigga dances or what a nigga does, how does that affect your life? As long as they're making good music. Well, he's or, not. Well, yeah, I, I'm getting to that. As long as you make a good music or whatever, we can forget about that. Mm-hmm. But now that he's not making he's not making music or the music that he's making is ass, then we're just going to focus on something, something else. What else can we focus on? 
But that's, that's but that's what I'm saying though. It just doesn't make any sense. So we're talking shit. And when I say we, I'm just talking about people in general right. or talking shit yeah. about him dancing. Uh-huh. Oh, he's gay. He got turned down to prison. He a real nigga, but he, he got turned down to prison. But as soon as he puts out some hot, hot nigga 2022 mm-hmm. and it's hot, then hopefully we don't, we just totally forget about all the slander for years. Maybe. I just think that after eight years, niggas have been waiting for this motherfucker to come out, and he comes out and does that. So it's like, why, what the fuck is going on here? Like I'm, I, I guess I'm. I just never really knew about that nigga like that. But as God is my holy witness, the only thing I knew about Bobby Smurda was the hot nigga shit. Me too. I mean, I knew Bobby bitch too. I did, but that was it. Bobby bitch. I mean, that's not feminine. Because when I hear somebody say. Whatever, bitch. It makes me think about it's Britney, bitch. That's what I think about. Like I don't think about anything else. Like that's feminine. Stuff. It's Bobby, bitch. I mean, if you that's, say that's not if gay. You say, if you say it's Bobby, bitch, then you can make anything sound like that. Well, yeah, it's Bobby, bitch. I'm Rick it's James. Bobby, bitch. I'm Rick James, bitch. Well, I mean, yeah, but that's that's different. It's Rick James. I'm Rick James, bitch. I'm Rick See? James, bitch. You can make it all sound like. But that. But I'm just saying. All I'm saying is the shit don't make no goddamn sense, man. Oh, it don't make no sense. Sorry, mom. But. I just I just don't understand any okay. I mean, some people like one the general consensus that I get when we when people listen to the podcast, the main focus I get is people saying that we shouldn't say G D. Oh. They can handle anything else we talk about, but using the Lord's name in vain is just where they draw the line. So. But Kanye like GD's, GD's in the building. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying is, yo, 